Alrighty then, gentlemen and ladies, we are going to make a business card. And the business card is going to be standard size. I'm going to show you how to just get references off the internet and how to create one yourself in Photoshop. Alright? First and foremost, we'll go to the internet really quickly and look for inspiration for the kinds of business cards that you like, okay? You can really spend all day doing this, but I'm going to just go into this one. I like this layout here. It's kind of cool. So I'm going to stick with it, all right? I'm going to just put a little, my own spin on it a little bit, but this layout's kind of nice. It's very primitive, but it's going to be effective, and sometimes less says more. All right, and we'll do two sides. So first things first, we'll go into Photoshop. We'll set up the document. On the top, you're going to go to File, New. You're going to make sure that the color mode is in a CMYK color because you're printing this. Convert it to inches. Width on a business card is 4 inches, so it'll be 4.3. The height is um, 2, so it'll be 2, 2.5, two sorry. So it's 2.8. All right. The reason I'm doing 2.3 increments over 2.5 and 3 increments over 4 is because you want to make bleed lines. Little bleed lines. So I'm going to hit OK. There's my business card. I'm going to insert a uh, view, new guide. I'll do a vertical one. And I'm going to move this guide over just enough. Right about there. Leave it there. We'll make a view, another new guide. And you see how I got the rules? This is less than a quarter inch in on this side. And just visually, it's about the same right about here. So I know these are my bleed lines. Anything I make will go within these bleed lines. I'm going to make a new horizontal guide now. View, new guide, horizontal. Hit OK. Drag this sucker down just enough right about there. And view, new guide. There's my horizontal one. There it is. And bring this one down. There you got it. Now, let's put all our information in here. I'm going to pretend I'm a mechanic, and my name is Dino Reese, and I want to make a business card for my, my, my craft. So first things first, I'll put my name at the top. I'm going to choose a cool font that lends itself to my craft. Like if I'm a lawyer, you want like a script font. If I'm in education, maybe you want the old English text. For me... I'm going to do the, uh, the mar it begins with an M. Looks like a mechanic, which is a, uh, where are you? This one. And name is in red. Make it bigger, control T. I don't want my name that big. So I'm going to click the move tool apply. I'm going to highlight my name and I'm going to change it to black and it's in black alright so my name is Dino Reese I'm going to make a little gradient on the bottom of it I'm going to make a little shape rather a rectangular shape I'll make a red line so this line will come out red I'll highlight underneath a small little line I got a little red line for you because you know a lot of red lines and, and cars and stuff so I'll come here come to the eraser tool and on my red line, I'm going to rasterize a layer. So now I can edit it. And I'm going to erase the edge of it a bit. Just erase the edge a bit. You can kind of do it that way. And hit your move tool and make it a lower if you wanted to. Any way you'd like. All right. That's not so bad. I want to make it a little bit control T on that. Let's stretch it just enough where it fixes up that little edge. And apply it. I'm all right with that. I'll move it over a bit. There you go. Now, I'm going to put on the bottom part. Did I do the same layout that I liked? No. Of course not. So I'll change uh, this one to Control T and move it across and shrink it a bit. You don't want your name too small though. You want to make sure that your name is a big focal point. So I'll apply that up there to right about there. I'll take this little rectangle thing and I'm going to move it now off the bit. So there you have it. Now, what else do we got here? Whoopsie. We have this one. All right, I'm going to put underneath my credentials, so I will put Master Mechanic. You want this to be written in a different font than your name. 
because you want it to be different so I'll put it as just regular master mechanic edit free transform and we'll shrink it just a little bit master mechanic and apply it and we'll put master mechanic over here underneath there you have it and we can also bring it underneath lower and move our shape up here and master mechanic can go kind of over here I just want to show you guys that you can edit any way you'd like the way your uh, image is and for Dino Reese I can also go to him and I can right click go to blending options and I can create a inner glow or an outer glow or better yet a drop shadow and then you can hit OK and now I have like a drop shadow behind my name even though it was black it's uh, and you can still see it it's a lot darker now so now you want to put all the written information first so I'm gonna put my address which in this case is going to be 111 Happy Street we'll take the move tool and apply it I'm gonna keep the same text as the master mechanic I'll change it up a little bit actually I'll do an Arial I'll lower it a bit highlight this information change it to a uh, we'll do an Arial font why not Arial is really easy to read from a far distance so 11 Happy Street um, your town New York one two three four five and we'll highlight this I will make it about a nine font alright we'll make it ten and we'll bring that let's see what the example looked like yeah it was right about here so we'll move this one over to here next what else do we have the phone numbers we'll put our information here's a little trick take this information and you can duplicate it and then all you gotta do is just move it down a bit and then just change it up so this will be my cell you could put mobile it doesn't matter right and then what I'm gonna do is I'll get rid of your town on this one and I'm gonna take the cell one I'll go edit copy and edit paste oh, well, or duplicate it rather now you have two layers and move your cell number down and what does it have on this one cell fax I'm gonna put cell office my office number and let's just pretend for argument's sake that the office you want to go away from these bleed lines as well you don't want to be too close to them so 111 is here move it a bit more right and so good that looks fine to me now let's get it again what else are we gonna put here uh, the office cell and your email address now I like putting a different color for the email address so we'll duplicate this one bring it on down and change this one to email and the email one will move over a bit because it's taking up a little bit more space is let's just say it's me at gmail.com me and you at gmail.com so we'll move that over a bit and email me and you at gmail.com click your remove click your uh, letter tool rather highlight me and you change the color make it blue because color is very relevant when it comes to uh, you know stop is usually red well this this is always hypertext so someone's gonna look at it and say oh yeah bam that's definitely um a uh, email alright now there you go there, if there's a website you could put your website on the bottom I'm gonna duplicate the office again because this is my template for my font <laughs> moving it on down here and I'm gonna go to let's just plug in my website we'll go to www.dinoreese.com and this obviously can be done in the same blue there you have it oh there it goes 
Now you can go to Edit Free Transform and make it a little bit bigger if you want to. And move it over to here. You could even put a drop shadow on it if need be. All right, now there's the beginning stages of the business card, but you want to put some graphics on it. Like this guy has some graphics. Think for results. Um, let's put my little slogan is um, nothing. Nothing is too small or too big for a business. Like if you do, I also do web design, but uh, like no business is too small or too big. But I will put a hands-on experience. I will click on the T, and I will put hands on how about tender love and care because that's what all cars need and that's what every mechanic should give to their clients so I will look on this business card again as a as a um, what's call a reference yeah tender love and care all right so we'll come in here. Before I put tender love and care, let me just get the graphics really quickly because I know we know how to put text in. So let me go online really fast, two seconds. And I got me a 69 Mustang. I got some tools. So I got the tools here. I'm going to right click, copy the image. I'm going to come back into my, my document. And I'm going to go to edit paste. There, I got some tools now, and they come up here. I'll put them above everything really fast, and I'm going to click on the magnet tool. Uh, no, I can't erase certain things. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the eraser tool, and I'm slowly going to erase certain things that I know I don't need, like right here around those tools. See that? I'm just erasing around this layer here. If I took this layer away, let just the internet catch let it catch up because I click so fast. It's still erasing everything I've erased. All right. If I took this layer away, basically that's what I'm looking at. So I'm erasing parts of just this one little layer here. All right. And there you have that. Now bring all my layers back to life. Edit free transform. I'm going to lower the opacity of this one and bring it right maybe up here. That's pretty cool. And I could put a car in here if I want as well, which I'm going to because I'm nuts like that. We don't need this anymore. I'll keep this one. I'll um, copy this image of the 69 Boss 429 because that is a gorgeous car. And I will make another layer. Click your Move tool. Hit Apply. I love that. That's fine. We'll go to Edit Paste. It's going to paste that big, big car in there. Edit Free Transform. Make it smaller. Make it even tinier than that. You know what? This car is way big, but it's not so bad. Let's see. Yeah, you know what we'll do? Let's get rid of this layer. Here's an easier thing. Let's get rid of this silly layer. And let's go to File, New. Okay. What we're going to do is paste that, that image in. And we're going to edit it before we even put it into Photoshop. First, we'll go to Image, Image, Size. Can't be 17 inches. We'll make it like 5 inches. All right. Now, that's about a normal size for us to convert. All right. And we're going to go into here, Magic Wand. It will let me erase a lot of the car. So we'll delete that part. We'll delete this part. We'll delete all these little parts. And we'll get rid of other parts of the car that we don't need, which it was pretty very forgiving with us with that. Get rid of it. No, we don't want to get rid of that. So we'll go to Select, Deselect. I'm going to use the last Polygonal Lasso tool. And I'm just going to slowly just get rid of parts that I know I don't want. Backspace. Let's say I come here by accident, hit backspace, it'll take it back, okay? I know that was quick, but I don't want to waste too much time with this because I know that we don't have much. So coming over here. Alright, edit cut. Don't need any of that. That's all I want is this car. So I am now going to go to select all, edit, cut. Get rid of this file now which I don't need. Let's minimize it and we'll go to edit paste. There is my 69 Stang. Edit free transform. Shrink it a bit more and we could put it over here kind of like that. Or kind of like as though it's riding onto here. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Don't stretch a 69 Stang. That's just no no good. It's not too long and it's definitely not too wide. 
That's about right. Click your move tool and apply.